Uh, Tucker, obviously you're very familiar with Cole, and you're both going to the same college. What's it like uh, wrestling him? Yeah, I know uh, coming up he's going to be my future teammate, so uh, I try to wrestle him like I wrestle anybody else, just uh, go out like any other match. Do you have any specific strategy when you face him? No, I, I try to wrestle my match. I, I know he's a, uh, a shorter guy and you know a little bit different style matchup, so I just wrestle like I know how to. What is it about Lock Haven that you, you like so much? Oh, I love it. It's like it's like family up there, you know. A couple of a couple of the big schools. It's like you're you're going to school, and um, I guess it's good if you like that. But I like the small hometown feel for sure. Now you guys are at the same weight class right now. Yeah. How is that going to work out in college? I'm sure a lot of people are interested. Yeah, a couple of people ask me that. Um, we'll figure it out when we get there. I know uh, Coach Warren, Coach Perry have uh, some plans, so we'll. I'll leave it in the hands of them. How tough is the competition in District Three? It's definitely tough. I, I, I remember uh, last year I said this. Um, we had a, a couple of the you know top ten to five guys in the district coming out of here that some of them didn't even make it out, and then you go to the state tournament, and you know uh, a lot of those guys should be there, and they don't even make it out of this tournament. So I think uh, PA wrestling as a whole is pretty tough, but District Three is uh, we're pretty solid. What are the odds that you guys square off again in the state final? It's possible. Um, I'm not saying anything, but it's it's possible for sure. Let's we'll just take it one match at a time. You haven't lost the past two seasons. How do you focus and not think about that, but just one match at a time? You don't think about it. You know, you just take one match at a time. Uh, you know, it's it's been a, a blessing, but it, it is what it is. You know, I just, I just wrestle. What were the things you were working on from your junior year to now being a senior? Just keeping it fun. You know, I think a lot of times people get caught up in the wins and stuff. And if you just go out there and, you know, be, be playful with it and do what you love to do, it, it turns out all right. Now, uh, Dean also got another district championship. Yeah. How cool is that? Yeah, it's cool. Definitely to, to bring two uh, gold home to the school. So, uh, yeah, we, we both got them back to back, and it's definitely cool. And you're wrestling for your dad. What's that experience been like? That's been a blessing, too. Uh, you know, some people, they say having their father or the coach, they don't like very much because they take it home with them. And that was me a little bit in my younger years. But as I'm getting a little bit older, you know, maturing, uh, you start to realize that it's, it's coming to an end soon. And uh, you love it. So. Yeah, you're getting real old. You're not even 20 yet. No, I know. But Wait till you're in your mid-late 40s, man. Just, just thinking a little bit that this is the last time my father's going to be my coach. Uh, you, you start to love it a lot more than you have in the past. Yeah. What do you guys talk about at home besides wrestling? Just mindset stuff, you know. Uh, believing in God, having, having a healthy relationship with him, and uh, yeah, just anything. Yeah, I know you like working on cars. Does, I do. does that take your mind away from wrestling? It does for sure. Uh, everybody needs a break. We're all human, so we uh, we like muscle cars. You know, American Muscle. So uh, definitely in the garage, taking it around. Just you know, pass the time when I get home from school before I go to practice. It's, it helps a lot. What are your favorite cars? I like Mopar. Pretty much anything Mopar from the '68 to '72 era. You know, it's pretty nice. So if you hit the Powerball. Which car do you think you'd buy first? I think I said it last year. I'd, I'd, <coughs> sorry. I'd That's probably go with a 69 Charger for the 426 Hemi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are you looking forward to most as far as the state tournament? Just having fun. It's my last year. Uh, I'm going to go out there with, you know, like I'm the underdog like I always have and have fun. You know, most people don't view you as an underdog, right? I view myself as an underdog because I, I know any given thing can happen at any time. So. Well, congratulations. Thank well you. deserved and good luck at States. Thank you.